Free Symbol Friday. Yeah. And you know it's a good Free Symbol Friday if we've got an accompanying video. Uh, which also means that it was complex. It took me a long time to s establish. And um, and you know what? Consider donating. Donate link is in the description. Donate link is in whatever social feed I'm, I'm putting it in. Uh, but otherwise, go try this out, use it, and enjoy it. Now, this came about from... Um, I've got my Discord server where um, I've got a whole server established. You can ask questions. You can take a look at shop items. You can get questions about shop items. Uh, you can get questions about Chief Architect and methods and AI and all kinds of things there. And it's a growing group, and it's um, it's got a good group of users there. Um, so from that group and then also from the uh, Conjoined Chief Experts um, live stream that we did today, we realized we needed a tool. And the tool specifically is for when we want to take out something like uh, some survey equipment, like a total station that might have GPS coordinates built into it, so that you go and, and use that station and it knows its GPS coordinates, and then you can um, use it to go take out you know, a printed out survey where you need to go pick up new data from that survey, right? And so what we need is we need data points within our printouts. And how do we establish that? How do we get that? And so what I'm giving you is kind of a toolkit for that. It's um, it's simple in its approach. It was just that the script itself was difficult to write. So what it is, is it's a CAD block. And this CAD block has an insertion point that's very specific. The insertion point, you're going to be clicking on this in some known GPS coordinate, okay? You have to know the longitude and latitude of a given point so that we establish a base datum for which to draw our new information from. So I'm gonna click on the corner of this building because I'm gonna assume that I know where at the corner of this building, and actually probably more accurately, I would pull this from the corner of this building maybe a foot out, right? So I'm gonna say that this is a foot out from the corner of this building, and that's gonna be my known data point where I take my total station out or I take some kind of GPS device out there and I get the reading on what the longitude and latitude are of a foot off the corner of this building. Once I have that, let me go ahead and explode this CAD block. Now something's gonna happen here. Some of this stuff's gonna disappear. The reason being is that we built this on the plot plan. So if we switch to a plot plan view, hopefully you've got text plot plan turned on in your plot plan view. So here we go. Now we can see our XY position. Now the XY position is important. Um, because we're only dealing with maybe totals of a couple hundred feet, we're not taking into account the curvature of the earth in these calculations. It's just not necessary. So it is taking into account that the XY position is giving us positions uh, on the drawing sheet that are in inches, okay? And it's taking those known inches and comparing it to our known latitude and longitude. So I need you to open up, this is a text box. We're gonna open this text box up and you can see here there's a bit of script. And specifically what we're looking at is the items in between our quotation marks, okay? And so what we're going to do is we're going to establish our known bearing. Our known bearing in this case is divided by decimal places. The decimal places actually mean that first number is degrees, minutes, seconds. It's just easier to do it in decimal places. It's much easier to code for that as well. So we're going to say that this is 54 degrees, uh, 15 minutes, and 16, let's go, 0.5 seconds. Okay. And then we might even change this to an east versus west, right? So there we go. Not that that really matters. Here we go. So let me press OK. And there we go. This is updated. You also notice that this marker updated as well. That's because we changed our known latitude, our known longitude. So now when I move this marker around, it's going to give me, based on this data point over here, this particular data point, and based on this known longitude and latitude, this is give, giving us our new information. And to quote someone that was commenting on the feed earlier for chief experts, we're going to make copies. We're going to make some copies here. So we'll just make a copy. And now we have additional data points, right? So now you can go out, have this print out, out, right? 
And so not only this, but we can get some dimensional markers from the house itself so, so that we have some kind of reference point. So maybe it's that, you know, if I go back to the working plan view and I pick this up and I'm going to convert this to, you know, a polyline box. And we'll even say that this is in the CAD plot plan. Take this back to our plot plan view. Now I've got some reference marker here so that I can pull from this point to the house and say that this is 34.27 feet. Well, we can even leave that line in place. We can even say we want to show length on that line, right? So that we know exactly how far it is to our reference point. And we're taking the total station out there anyways. We should be able to hit that exact mark and then pull our information from there and come back and bring in our survey data based on this. So this is a fantastic way of doing this because the other thing that we can do is we can either put some terrain data where it kind of loops in between these parts, right? So I can use a spline here. Maybe that spline actually needs to be curved a little bit, but eventually it's going to make its way to this other mark. And there we go. Now we've got you know data based on that spline or probably more accurate. We're going to actually put in some points. So we're going to add an elevation point here. And because we've added that elevation point, we know what our data is from the total station. So we've got some updated terrain and it's super accurate. So that was the whole point of this whole setup here is, and if you know what you're doing, this is pretty cool. So play around with it. Let me know if there are any problems with it. Again, this is a very complex bit of script. I think that it's scripted correctly, but someone is gonna have to go check this in the field. But I do believe that it's scripted correctly. So go check it out, bring out your station, uh, hopefully you have your own house map so you can go just check it outside in your front yard and uh, enjoy. Check it out. This should be pretty exciting for some people.